apparently running out of space on my phone. Yay, I'm recording. We might need some thermal. Paste. I don't want that. Go away. No, we I'm trying to record here. Out. Eek. So I slept in. I didn't mean to. Um, everything's going fine. Watching a lot of SG1. Still, I put an Amazon order um, for groceries. I've hit season 3, episode 3 um, on SG1. And I've managed to fill up a page, a notebook page, uh, with small adjustments to try to bargain with myself and uh, reward myself into making, fixing some of my habits. Mostly I'm just trying to make things easier on myself. I need like a grown-up chore chart with gold star stickers. And like gummy bear rewards, I swear. I'm like a giant kindergartner. Did not get any editing done. Didn't even check to see if the video that I got uploaded um, yesterday was was done. I don't know. I gotta delete some stuff and move some stuff in my phone. And I downloaded a checklist app and put some weekly chore charts and things in there by day to hopefully kind of get myself to stay on track a little bit with some things that have been, you know, kind of slipping. Um, not a lot going on otherwise. Oh, wow, well, that's sitting way up high. Can't have that. Okay, there we go. Uh, alright. I stopped what I was doing and took care of dinner for myself and the boys, which was kind of a build your own pizza thing. But it's a little bit late. It's, uh, yeah. Um, almost 8 o'clock. Because we were waiting on an Amazon Fresh delivery that was slated for 5 to 7, and I was trying for more of a 3 to 5 window, but that wasn't available. Bruce put smoked salmon on his pizza with regular tomato-based pizza sauce. Had he used some kind of cream cheese, I might have been able to say that worked, but... I guess, whatever. It's whatever. That's fine. Uh, John had just regular mixed cheese and pe pepperoni. I have salad pizza again. <laughs> I started with a layer of pizza sauce and pepperoni. I added some shredded cheddar blend to it. Then... Uh, once the cheddar had melted, I added mushrooms and popped it back in there until the mushrooms were kind of roasted. Then I added, uh, I added baby spinach and then popped that back in until that had wilted. But then I put on just a little bit of the mozzarella, you know, I didn't cover it the way I usually would, I guess, and, uh, popped it back in and then... We went one last round with some shredded, uh, shaved actually, high quality Parmesan rather than the dry powdery stuff in a shaker jar. And uh, that should turn out pretty good. And I'm having ginger ale with some Mind Your Business in it. And uh, by the way, um, Mind Your Business is a as a bottle that has a picture of a guy who seems to be can from Canada uh and his dog out on a hunting trip so um I'm running a little low I may need to restock but I'm gonna watch more Stargate and then I'm gonna try to get myself sorted out early so I can Get a good night's sleep before I have to go out in the in the freaking cold of tomorrow morning. I am not looking forward to that. And and I was re-examining my yarn project. It got abandoned last month simply because of the weather. So.
Stargate. SG-1, Season 3. I'm on Episode 4. I'd be a lot further along if I had just been, you know, not called away to make pizza. Uh, I managed to wrap up my day early, like I had planned to do yesterday. I'm actually pretty tired. I got like two things left to do. Um, Duolingo and uh, trying to keep my step on Kindle app. So I guess that's what I'm going to be doing and um, try to get early go of it tomorrow morning. But I've I've wound everything down. The TV's off. It's staying off. Cleaned up the dinner dishes. All of it. So I'm kicking in the butt today. And then tomorrow shouldn't be too difficult if I can actually get to sleep. I've been drinking my water, taking my meds, did my skincare. That's all good. And, uh, yeah. A Klingon lesson and, um, let's see how many pages of this book I can knock out before I knock out. That's not a bad way to end the day. under a winter storm warning but as it's not actually cold enough it feels cold enough but it's not actually cold enough to freeze the little sprinkles of ice of water in ice and make the roads slippery school is still on it's so cold my kids actually wore their coats today I'm not gonna say it wasn't a fight, but this is like the first time since winter started that they've actually worn their coats. I should tell you everything you need to know. This scarf is so soft, why is it all so itchy? I just don't like having anything on my face, I'll be honest. Going out to pick up my kids. It has not warmed up. I'm not thrilled. I forgot what it feels like to have your eyeballs feel cold. And I don't really like putting on like five extra people worth of weight in uh, warm clothes. But on the upside, they have canceled school tomorrow so I don't have to get out here and do it all again in the morning. I can stay home. Unfortunately, this is going to be because probably there will be ice on the roads, but I already went to the store and got a bunch of stuff, so that'll help. It's a little less to worry about. And as soon as the heater kicks on well enough, I'll be able to pull this thing down. That might take a bit. I made some dinner. And then Bruce did some really weird things with that dinner. But either way, you know, regardless, it's dinner time. Uh, I had YouTube on, but I wasn't actually watching it. It's old stuff from Mr. Epic Man before they started being the men who do nothing. And there's some pretty good stuff. This is just plain water. Straight from the RO filter on the kitchen sink. This is, um, frozen and then baked, uh, macaroni and cheese. I think it's Stouffer's brand. Uh, I've got some bagged salad with my raspberry vinaigrette dressing. Oh my god. And some chicken strips with a little bit of honey mustard on them. And that's all well, fine, and good. What's slightly less well, fine, and good is that Bruce had asked for waffle cones chicken strips and macaroni and cheese and so I can accommodate that. I made the macaroni and cheese. I made the chicken strips. I had a box of waffle cones ready to go. This would have worked better with waffle bowls. Still made for ice cream, but whatever. He tore up the chicken strip 
mixed in the macaroni and cheese and then scooped that into the waffle cup. Mm -hmm. This is the stuff that he does because he is not getting in trouble. He's school resource officers love him. Teachers love him. Staff loves him. He doesn't start fights. He doesn't break things. He doesn't get caught with interesting substances. He just does weird stuff, okay? Um I'm very lucky. I'm very lucky. He's a solid C student. I know exactly what to expect from him. I'm gonna I'm gonna um I'm gonna try to finish watching the episode of Stargate I was watching when I went to go pick them up. It's gonna be a long cold night. No school tomorrow. The roads are gonna be iced over. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not doing anything. The freezer's stocked. The kitchen is stocked. If the power goes out, there's the generator and I can still have coffee. I'll be fine. There will not be Swiss cheese. Your cat is fine. Go. Round two, because it's now like 7.01. I took these square sea salt rice cakes. Applied copious amounts of chocolate hummus, sliced strawberries, put those on the chocolate hummus, and then sprinkled them with Swerve, which is basically the fakey diet sugar. I tested one on John. He did not want any more. Bruce just came in and, and swiped a couple of, of non-chocolate contaminated strawberry slices from me. Said the diet sugar tastes weird. That's fair. And then I've pointed him toward the rest of the strawberries because anything you can do to get a teenager to eat some fresh produce is usually a good idea. Anyway, I needed something that was semi junkish because I'm in, in I'm in the season three stuff with. Stargate SG-1, okay? If you don't watch it, you're not gonna know, but... Season 3... Daniel Jackson... And... And his father-in-law, okay? Who's an alien, okay? It's... The interactions are brief, but there's so much there! I need... I need something. Popcorn wasn't gonna cut it. All right, I did my skincare, some of it anyway. Took my meds, took my vitamins, mostly been behaving myself. I am definitely wrapping up my night early as I had meant to do. Got my stuff, I was writing things down. Responsibly, even. Working on some more water. And I was a little too invested in SG-1 and jumped over to Outlander for an episode so I could try to shut my brain off by, you know, jumping universes. It helps. It helps. Uh, I also, I meant to keep watching it, but then I got distracted because science fiction exists. Not smart. Well, kind of smart. Anyway, um, tomorrow should be interesting. My kids are going to trash the kitchen, I bet. Yeah. But that's fine, because I'll be well-rested. As long as the power stays on. Not a lot going on today. John is loudly playing video games with his friends, has been most of the day. Bruce is around, being weird, and uh, raiding the fridge repeatedly. 
I think they've killed off all the leftovers from the macaroni and cheese last night. Um, something really weird happened with the dinosaur egg oatmeal. I used to get this for them when they were little. They used to love the dinosaur eggs. Uh, it's, it's by Quaker and it's just little white candy eggs that are slightly softer and dissolve in the hot water and then there's a little candy dinosaur that's kind of colorful and very noticeably appears once the egg is dissolved. They used to go bonkers for this when they were little. I picked up a box the other day. Bruce took half the packets out of this box. It, it was it was an eight packet box. He taped three of them to his bedroom curtain and then fixed the fourth one to eat. Evidently, they feel wronged by the fact that these have been available and I just haven't been buying them. There is no embarrassment in this whatsoever. When I was a kid, if you liked little kid stuff, you would get picked on. No, not this generation. Anyway, I'm watching uh, SG-1 again. I'm really uncomfortable. I'm not just sore from the cold, because the, the cold is, you know, kind of unavoidable. But, uh, yeah. I'm, like, cramming pampering down my throat and curling up with a heating pad as much as possible. So it's just chowing chowing down on chocolate and trying not to move. And then getting up and pacing when I can't sit still anymore because it hurts too much. But I have managed to reorganize a drawer. Might do another one. Just, you know, kind of, just kind of hang in there and, and make the most of my time. The local police department has asked that everybody try to stay inside, stay home. Because they're dealing with wrecks particularly on bridges, because our infrastructure is not meant to handle ice. It's meant to handle heat. That's fine by me. We're, we're staying put, and school has already been canceled for tomorrow, so I can expect another day of this. However, I may have to postpone my birthday milkshake trip. Because it's going to be less than 60 degrees out Fahrenheit. Uh, and it's one thing to bundle up and go out and sit on a patio when it's like 60 degrees, 55 degrees, right, whatever those are. It's completely different to bundle up, go out, and most people don't even have to bundle up for that, but I'm, I'm just awful. Uh, and, and then also consume a frozen dessert. Normally... <laughs> Normally, in this area, in February, that wouldn't be an issue. It'd be like 65, 70 degrees, and I'd be fine. I need to get some editing done, but I want to finish this episode of SG-1 first because it's got both... Dom Deloise and Peter Deloise, and and I wanna I wanna see this. Of course, Peter Deloise puts little cameos of himself in pretty much everything he directs. Personally, I think I th I think you should do more acting. But I guess directing makes me happy. All right, it's um it's dinner time. Clearly, my winter gear is still setting out. That's fine. It's just one thing I haven't managed to organize today. I didn't get around to the second drawer yet, but I'm thinking about it. Um, this is hot apple cider from a, uh, from a instant powder. It's, it's whatever. It's warm. That's stovetop stuffing, some roast chicken, and a big honkin' salad with my pink dressing on it and I'm 
I'm gonna watch an episode of A Million Little Things before I get sidetracked and forget where I was at on that. Again. And then it's just gonna be one episode and then I'm gonna get back to editing. Because I am so far behind. And February starts tomorrow. That'll give me something to do. Alright, I, uh... I didn't get as much editing done as I had hoped, but I got some started, and I think that's the most important part. I got a video public, which I guess anybody in this time zone, it would have been about 6 p.m., but everybody else is going to see it tomorrow. Um, I got, I got kind of roped into uh, a documentary series on Netflix that I've been meaning to watch for a while. That were in Jeff's polygamist compound and stuff. Um, Keep Sweet, Pray, and Obey. Just started part three. I'm gonna get a little further. I'm gonna turn it off. I'm done for the night. I'm gonna try harder to get some editing done tomorrow. I feel like I'll be in a better spot to do that, a better headspace. I'm just, today has sucked. A lot. At least the power has not browned out or anything. That's been steady. Everything's been warm. John was really amused by the layer of ice on the outside of his window. But of course any north facing window is going to have some ice on it. He's been playing video games with his friends for most of the day. No school tomorrow. No going anywhere either. I, I hope it warms up pretty soon though. I, I don't like this. I don't like being stuck at home. I don't. I don't like frozen roads. Yes. Mm -mm. No, that's not supposed to happen here. That's why I live here. <sighs> uh, the power had already been out for some time when I woke up at uh, about eight fifteen. I know because when I woke up, my phone was at 88% battery. It was plugged in. Um, my dad's like hollered at the people to report the outage. I was like, "No, your your location's supposed to be, you know, on. This is supposed to be resolved since 8:30." Then we got a, then we got a, uh estimate of power being back on at 11.30 and it was not they changed the estimate to no, no time, just our linemen are working as safely as possible now the house is not as cold as uh, as the coat would let on, but I have layered up because apparently my body just doesn't make or hold heat uh, I got really tired of the boys running around shirtless, so I sent them to put together the dumbest outfits they could possibly come up with. This is at least keeping them amused. Winner gets 20 bucks, so they're, they've got an incentive to do this. It has them moving around. You might want to race it to 30 with the good stuff. I don't think so. John won the first round. It was quite absurd. Just, just whatever. Put on the most ob absolutely obnoxious, dumbest possible outfits you can manage. Um, I guess we're gonna do best of three with this. I really should get some editing done, but my phone got down to like twenty percent. Just trying to trying to get signal. Yeah, I probably should do that. Um, but yep, I got my thermals, I got my sweatpants on, I got my coat, double socks, I'll be fine. And if it really gets cold, we'll, uh, we'll bust out the generator. This sucks. Well, they canceled school for tomorrow. And, uh, yeah. My kids have been punching ice off the vehicles. That's fun. Ugh. The power is still out, but at least the uh, the boys are all bundled up and safe. So that's a plus. And they're 
Yep. Punching the ice off the cars. Because teenagers. It's been interesting listening to Bruce trying to play uh, this game from Dune. Um, mispronouncing everything. Bean geezerits. Uh, trades. And, uh, and and this was 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 good. Uh, what was it? Hanakin, Harakon. It's like, dude, that's Harkonnen. Eh, whatever. Kwisatz Haderach really threw him for a loop. That 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 was pretty good. I just it keeps getting colder in here. I'm thinking I'm probably gonna light some candles. I don't know. This is gonna make much difference, but it might. The generator is running, and uh, I've gotten a little bit of editing done. I'm gonna try to get some more done, um, or I don't know, I might watch some TV. That depends on whether or not John's PS4 will work with TV. Tried to play uh, Dune with Bruce, that's fine, it's dinner time. I had, um, I had some oatmeal, I'm having some coffee, but I don't have that currently in hand. And this is a baked potato with uh, pizza sauce and mozzarella cheese on top. Pizza tato. Bruce thought that sounded great and uh, grabbed a fork full of it to sample it. That's why there's a chunk missing right there. And I just I shoved that whole thing in the microwave because the microwave is uh, hooked up to the massive network of daisy chained um, power cables through the house. Not everything can be hooked up, but we're probably going to have to cut down a little bit, run the refrigerator off of it a little to keep frozen things frozen. And, uh, of course my heater is running in here. So, I might actually be able to take off my coat for the first time since getting out of bed this morning. Just to get into pajamas and get back in bed. But, my dad and Bruce ran out and got, uh, Got more gasoline to uh, keep the generator running. Um, the power grid never used to fail in the wintertime like this. And they said they were going to repair it um, after the February 21 storm. I don't know what happened. I, uh, I'm done for the night. I took my meds. I'm, I'm reading a bit on my Kindle app. Just got a new book. Good for you. John's hanging out with me. He's watching. He's watching anime. JoJo's. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, and he's trying to make me watch with him, but I'm not actually doing. It. The dog is in here hanging out with us. Uh, she's while my parents are available. This room is warm. So I, I may have to, you know open the door, let me out, everything, but I need the door to stay shut so it stays warm in here. I, I think I got a little too much cold air on my lid because it just like burns along the edge right here, so I'm going to have to put some stuff on my face here shortly. But then I, I'm, I'm done for the night. Um, is your head okay? What, what's with the constant? I was just sleeping. Yeah. Anyway, I guess, um, so it would just be me and John and this giant stuffed duck. <laughs> yep. At least it wasn't the mammoth. I, hmm. Or the polar bear. Or the dog. Or the moose. Or the moose. He has a menagerie. Three of them are from Ikea. One of them is from Walmart. And I don't know where the duck came from. Walmart. Two from Walmart, three from Ikea. Okay, alright. Anyway, uh, yep, hunker down. There's, it's covered with ice outside. It was so warm just a few days ago. I don't know what happened. I wish we saw that almost February. You ruined my birthday, John. I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to push. Hopefully, it will unfreeze by. It's gonna be too cold for milkshakes, and we're gonna have to push it off to another time. And that's just yeah. Mm. Anyway, I'm I'm done for the night. I'm turning it in. I'm gonna read books. Be assaulted by the sound of of generator anime. 
and then I would eventually I'll fall asleep. It's been a whole lot of nothing today. My kids have a two hour delay tomorrow. Power has been back on since about 11 a.m. What? Can I get a soda? Yes. And, um, I had planned. Thanks for that. I had planned, uh, for Saturday to go to a, uh, specialty milkshake place for my birthday. Because that's the day where we should have been able to get everybody together. Uh, unfortunately, it's gonna be, it's gonna be still be too cold. And, like, 55 degrees Fahrenheit is going to be way too cold for me just to be sitting out on a patio hey, I've got a question drinking for you. something frozen. So, I'm out of luck. That fell through. Let everybody know. Never mind. So, uh, at least this means that I can get my kids off to their dads for the weekend. And take a break because I need a break from the constant noise, the constant baloney. I don't need it. I'm tired. I have very little energy, but I'm going to try to fix some food because we didn't have an organized dinner tonight. Because apparently if my kids are snacking, that just goes right out the window. And it would help to know these things in advance, but... Nobody tells me anything. I am about out of energy, but I managed it. I mean, she set some dinner up for myself and the kids. Yeah, this is super grown up food. Um, that's crescent rolls. They're slightly overcooked, but that's okay. Uh, wrapped around a couple of hot dogs. Yeah, a little squirt of mustard there, and some puffy Cheetos. And this is actually just water. I had a couple cups of coffee earlier, and I just, I didn't feel like tracking down an actual water glass, so I'm drinking my water, trying to stay hydrated. I did watch some SG-1, but I've been seeing commercials for this new, uh, might be new, might not be new, show on... Hulu from Freeform. I think it's called The Watchful Eye or something like that. So I'm going to give that a try. I've got a uh, Google Note on my home screen where I'm going to try to cycle through my shows and have more of a uh, watch schedule than binging. So I've added that to the list. I'm, I'm going to try an episode of that. Uh, looks like it's got the lady who played Emily Gilmore from Gilmore Girls in it. So, that could be neat. She's pretty good. I'm really tired of it being the same temperature. The negative two degrees. I don't know why. It just... That, that is what keeps coming up on the feels like. And tomorrow it's supposed to get up to... 8 degrees Celsius. I guess it could be worse, but it's not going to get any higher than that. So I was looking for options, things to amuse myself on Saturday, since I'm not going to be going and getting a giant freaking milkshake stack with dessert on top. With like three days worth of cal empty calories of straight up sugar. They have everywhere, or everything everywhere all at once playing, but I don't want to have to drive all the way to the theater that it's playing at. I might just get the movie on Amazon at this point. I'm so wiped out, I'm kind of surprised I'm still standing. Of course, if I take long enough to record this, I won't be. My kids have school in the morning. A delayed start. Gives them time to, you know, scrape the windshield and warm up the car, but 
there is still school and it is still in the morning. Whatever. I'm, I'm wiped out. I'm also questioning whether or not I had enough water the, despite the fact that I was drinking water today. Probably not. I'll work on that. Uh, I spent a good chunk of this morning out and about shopping because I took my kids in for their their late drop off time at school and then I went shopping. And I went and got my birthday gift to Sephora. And I'll admit, I spent basically 25 bucks on a top-notch, state-of-the-art, tastes-like-lemon-cookies chapstick. I'm not sorry, either. It's, it's like a really good lip moisturizer in a stick that's not sticky, like the other one I was shown. And I... Sampled some perfumes and it was like any kind of reaction will steer them so far off what you're going for. I don't think I want to be helped with perfumes anymore. Let me squirt it on a little test strip, wave it for a moment so it's actually dry, and then smell it and then you know see what you think. I went in there to try a specific set of perfumes. Tried one, and then we were off to all of the other ones instead of what else was by the same brand that I was interested in. I swear to God. And then asked me what kind of stuff have you liked in the past, and I recommended this one. They looked at the notes to it, and then they showed me these two that were wildly different and super opposing each other and, and neither of them smelled like the thing. What was the point of that? I bought a couple of tops at one place. I went into Best Buy and I decided that since everything was in $25 increments, I'd get my kids $20 gift cards from their weird dress up the worst outfit you can contest um I, I just get them on amazon which i have just done i uh what else did i do there was like a big sale at kohl's which is mostly clothes found some clearance christmas scented soap that was uh that was neat seven bucks at kohl's would have been 35 Went to Target. That was mostly sodas and oatmeal. Anyway, I gotta take my kids and go take them to their dad's. I can't even remember all the other stuff. I, I think I went to Five Below. Yeah. Anyway. Got back here around 2. Went and picked them up around 4. Nothing exciting. Just a whole lot of trees are down because of the ice that we had. It was a lot of ice. Uh, it's dinner time. I'm having a diet citrus green tea. I guess my folks smoked a turkey today. There's dressing. There's a breadstick I pulled out of the freezer and microwaved. Maybe a little bit too long because I seem to have scorched the plate. Whatever. I think I'm going to try to watch uh, A Million Little Things. And I'm going to go take my kids to their dad. My mood is not doing great. Uh, I'm, I'm really down today and I can't seem to pull myself out of it. It's going to be another cold night. The power blinked for a little bit, but that's fine. I'm up way later than I meant to be. However, I gotta show this off because I, I just received this earlier this evening and I think you guys are gonna see a lot of it. 
uh, it's a t-shirt, so they grabbed off my wish list. It's a jackalope. It says, believe. Yes, I do. I gotta get this, uh, get this washed, but it's small. I think it's gonna fit just fine. So. Oh, yeah. Jackalopes. I'm gonna wear that all summer. All summer. And it looks like the type of design that's uh, designed to be faded over time. So it should look just as good later on as it does now. Um, even when it's beat up. That'd be good. My balance is really off. I got one of my hips is really bothering me. I gotta get some sleep, and, uh, I know how tomorrow was supposed to go, but I don't know how it's actually going to wind up going. Um, I watched TikToks, goofed off on my phone most of the evening. Uh, I did not manage my evening routine. I'm gonna try again tomorrow. I've had a really lazy day, done absolutely squat except for maybe two loads of laundry. And now I've driven all the way into Austin to try to get poutine um, because it's Canadian food and I felt like something different. And uh, the, the one spot that I knew would reliably have it that wasn't too deep in the heart of um, all kinds of crazy is closed because of the power outage. I guess, I guess they're not back from that just yet. So, I'm gonna go try a different wing place. Alright, I got myself a Diet Dr. Pepper. This is garlic parmesan wings, and then there's like sampler stuff happening. Okay, my chicken strips arrived, and they are sweet orange with some honey mustard sauce and uh. These are incredibly just sugary. It's, it's so good. I have a milk foam tiramisu with boba all over it. And it, it looks really neat. I've never had a milk foam dessert before. This should be good. Okay, it's a little bit late, but I'm home from Austin. The um, the milk, milk foam cake stuff was really good. The tiramisu kind. Uh, I got boba on mine, and it was awesome. It was around the corner from the, I, I can't even remember, uh, High Wings. It's over in the, it's not part of, I think it's like Highland area. There was a mall over there, and then last I heard, it was not really getting used much, so it shut down, but like the Guitar Center is still there, that kind of thing. North Austin, not a great spot. Kind of sad I didn't get any poutine, but um, everything else went really well, uh, including the reason I have plastic wrap on my hand. <sighs> I've been meaning to do this for a while, so it wasn't exactly spur of the moment, but uh, I think there was, yes, birthday related. I don't know how well I'll be able to show this off without turning my hand around, but <sighs> white ink again. Connected to one of my scars. Again. And I'm super psyched about it. Again. Even though the first one was... Say six years ago. Anyway, I'm done for the night. This is, uh... This has been fun. This has been a awesome adventure evening. But I gotta take this makeup off that is mostly worn off anyway. And, uh... Uncrunch my eyelashes grab some moisturizer, wash this, maybe, read the aftercare stuff, and then I'm out. Then. Anyway, it was like, yeah, awesome adventure night out in Austin. Accompanied, not alone, um, as you should be. Thanks for sharing my week with me.